month at the new moon, we begin a new emotional cycle, and we have the opportunity to reset our goals and intentions. The new moon in Virgo is August 30th at 6.37 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And this is an incredibly powerful new moon because all the energies are super focused in the earth element. So Virgo is in the mutable modality and we're gonna have five planets in Virgo. All the inner planets will be clumped together. So that's the sun and the moon, Mercury, Venus, and Mars and those planets will be making a grand trine with Saturn and Pluto and Capricorn and Uranus and Taurus. Hence the super concentrated earth energy, the dynamic of practical grounded work and efficiency is really, really highlighted for this new moon. So let me discuss all the things that you can expect with this new moon, the shadow side and the positive side, but let's begin with the positives. First, I love Virgo because it highlights humility and service. It highlights the need to be efficient and detailed and precise, but not yearning for the applause, not yearning for the ego, just being of service. That special humility is just beautiful with Virgo. That's the positive. Okay, the negative or the shadow, the vulnerable side of Virgo is that there can be that attachment to perfection. There can be that attachment to precision, which can get very critical. It can get critical of self. It can be projected onto others. So for this new moon in Virgo, if you have a critical side within you, whether that is criticizing yourself or projecting it onto others, really take some time and meditate on this and take a look and practice opening your heart and practice letting go of that criticism. Remember, the goal is not to be perfect. The goal is to be perfecting and there's a big difference, right? So for this new moon though, if you want to use it positively, get to work. This is a productive new moon. Tidy something up feng shui your house, get your closets organized, get your drawers organized, sweep your front steps every day, do something that organizes the energy in your life. Make sure that you are efficient in getting your work done. You're going to feel fabulous if you do that. Nothing is more nourishing than cleaning up during a Virgo cycle. This new moon starts to trigger a period that's going to last for about the first two weeks of September where we're going to yearn for that special kind of organization and clarity of thought and precision and detail. So feed yourself with that. Get to work and pay attention for that special humility, that need to be of service, that quietness, the desire to do something extremely well without needing applause. That's the highest frequency for Virgo. So just as you want to clean up your house, you want to clean up your office, you want to clean up all your files, you will also want to pay attention to cleaning up your body. In other words, eating well, changing your diet, perhaps doing a cleanse. All of these are very Virgo activities. I wish you a very, very productive new moon in Virgo lasting through the middle part of September. I hope you get a lot done and that you feel great. Thank you. I'm Kathy Rose.